This is code.org, CS Discoveries or Computer Science Discoveries. I'm working on lesson 10 of that. Uh, well, it's unit two, web development, lesson 10, styling text with CSS and level 11. Text properties. There are many CSS properties available that allow you to style the text on your page. Here's a review of some of the more common ones, okay? So the properties color, the color of your text. So if we have color colon maroon, then your text color would be maroon. That's somewhat confusing because it's not called text color or font color, it's just the word color, right? And so then text hyphen align, the alignment of your text, that would make sense, such as putting it in the center on the left or the right side. Text decoration, additional style. Text decoration, that's like underline, apparently there's a thing called overline or strike through. Font family. That is just the type of font, right? So which font you use, fantasy font, Comic Sans if they have it, uh, Arial, things like that. Font size, the size of your text, and that's done with a PX at the end for pixel. So 20, 40, yeah, a uh, wide variety there, of course. Style text example. If we put this all together, you might get something like this. So this is their example. So this is a paragraph, right? They would be applying this, so this text must be considered a paragraph. Color, maroon, center of the page, done. Underlined, yep. That is the fantasy style, ooh. And size, 20. Specifying fonts. You might notice when using CSS like Font Family Fantasy that your text looks different on different computers. This is because we're only telling the browser what kind of font to use not which specific font. So Chrome might have a different preset for fantasy than say Safari does. So they'll probably be similar, but they might be slightly different depending on the computer and the browser that you are using. Great, let's go onward.